everyone, welcome back to my channel. Pay no attention to my hair, I just shoved it off before this video and then whenever like I'm done the makeup I'll make myself look presentable. But in today's video I'm doing a tutorial. I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long. Like I've been vlogging, I've been doing chit chat, get ready with me and all that there. Um, but I haven't actually sat down and done a makeup tutorial. So today I'm doing a like soft brown matte half cut crease and yeah I've already got my base on because I just done a look for my Instagram and I thought there was no point like taking my whole makeup off and starting it all again whenever I could just take the eyes off and do the tutorial so oh shit my camera near my plan there that is the situation for today's video so if you just want to learn how to do a brown soft glam and then just keep watching first side on I just turned it off camera and I mean this took me about two minutes so this is what it's like it's just a really soft like matte brown half cut crease and it's so quick and easy like I already primed my eyelids with the P. Louise base of course in rumour 2 and it's my fave I also love the Helen E primer um, it's probably a wee bit easier to get your hands on than the pain of ways because you have to wait a while for shipping and all that. Right, where is the brush that I'm looking for? Thanks very much. Could I have it back, please? Is somebody trying to get it? I thought I heard the back door open. Oh god, that's made me a wee bit nervous now. I hate being in the house by myself, you know. Right, enough of the bullshit. Right, let's start the tutorial. So I'm using the LMD number no. four bullet brush and the shade Prophecy from the So So X Kaylee Urban Bible Pot. And I'm just starting in the middle. And I mean, like when I say I'm loading up my brush, like I am loading it up just so that the eyeshadow is really pigmented. And I swear, like, the worst thing you can do if you're doing a makeup look is not use enough product. Like, if you want your look to really pop and, like, for the eyeshadow just to look unreal, you need to use loads of product for it to just look its best, you know? So, just please not down, not doing any blending in a rounded shape and bringing it like right into the other corner and then do wee full freckles and all today. Mm. Wee bit excited you know. Right. Then I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush with oh my god my foot just made a farting noise. <laughs> that wasn't me. Um and I'm just starting to blend around the edges a wee tiny bit. Not too much, just a wee bit. Like that. Literally, like you're not doing much blending. And then I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush. This is the Salon Services 408 brush. And the shade Saviour. Is it Saviour? I don't know. This second shade. Here. Right, no. I'm putting it on back and forth and in circular motion. So I'm just going around and then in circular motions towards the end and like blowing it out a wee bit. But I want to keep it very like round it at the same time so you just want to make sure that's nice and blend it out then i'm taking this real techniques brush again and the shade prophecy so i'm really only using three eyeshadow shades for this look it's so simple so i'm using prophecy and just run that through my crease again to deepen it up then we're going to get some of our p louise base in rumor two I put it on the back of her hand and then I'm just taking this wee flat top brush and I'm like making sure it's nice and flat. I always do that on my brushes before I do a cut crease and I'm just taking a bit of the product and I'm looking into the mirror and just patting the brush round where my natural crease is up close and personal. Right, I used to always stop at my like tear duct with my cup creases but now I bring them like right in so I bring them like straight into my 
inner corner. The way I was explaining that, you would have thought there was like a scientific reason for why I done that, but no, there's not. It's just because it looks cool, right? Then I'm gonna take this wee fluffy brush. So I'm kind of like pushing the product in the ways. Oh, that was not focused that whole time. Oh. So I'm not actually like blending the product like that. I'm more like pushing it. Like that. And there, your line's blended. Now we are gonna take this brush. So it's just a wee flat top brush don't know how to explain it it's kind of like the one that i use for my eyebrows but only a wee bit fatter so this is like the daddy version this is the daughter version and then i'm taking the shade oath so it's just dark brown so i'm basically using that shade as my liner because we don't want to go in with a black liner because that would be just too harsh for this sort of look and um, in my opinion anyway and then taking this wee brush and making sure that's blended on the outer corner then I don't really know why I put the like white eyeshadow on my lid after the liner but I just ended up doing that and it worked so that's what we're doing so I'm just taking a white eyeshadow the one from the Kaylee palette and I'm just lightly like dusting this over that base because I don't want it to be white I want it to stay that like pinky nude colour because if it's white it's just like too in your face whereas like this colour is just a nice like soft blend into the eyeshadow I don't know what I'm talking about I'm trying to make myself sound like I know what I'm on about but really I don't I love whenever people purchase my recommendations and tag me on it. I actually think it's so cool. Right. Sorry, just getting this. Um, so for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight, I'm using the MAC Nylon Shadow. Um, if you like follow makeup artists and if you're in the makeup, if you're into makeup, you, I'm sure you have heard of this eyeshadow but it is like just look at that for your brow bone highlight and I think see what looks like this inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight like if they're really really bright it just adds that wee bit of extraness to such a simple look so I'm just taking a wee fluffy brush I might put away any excess fallout or whatever. I never really do my foundation first, so it feels a wee bit weird. But I'm gonna do some mascara. So I'm gonna I've started curling my eyelashes again just so that like my false eyelashes and my real ones blend in together better. I don't really go mad with mascara. I just Put a wee light layer on and then stick my falsies on. So my new favourite lashes. I only tried these out today for the first time. Like who am I? Why am I only trying toddy lashes out today? But it's the toddy lashes in TL4. Um, it was my first time trying them out. But I love them. So this is my second time putting them on today. I'm going to wipe my lips before. Because I hate doing my lipstick on top of like foundation lips. I'm using the Pro Fusion lip liner in shade Charm and the Makeup Revolution X Soap um, lipstick in the shade Syrup. I just got brown eyeshadow all around my mouth. See if I drop one more thing like this day. I 
Is that noticeable? No, it's not. These are actually such a good combo. Like, you would think they were made for each other. But I like when the lipstick's quite a bit lighter than the lip liner. So I just pat that in the middle and kind of blended it out. And then rub my lips together. Oh shit, I forgot about the lashes. The glue's nearly dry. So I'm actually going to go into detail about how I apply my lashes. Because I know some people struggle with it and kind of need help with it. So I'll apply one off camera and then I'll come back and apply the other one on camera to show you and like go into detail. So while I was away I plan my lashes, well my lash, I just done a few wee faux freckles. I um, don't know how I feel about them but that's what they look like. I'm gonna like blend over them more after I finish filming this and try and like make them a wee bit more faded because I feel like they're very like noticeable. Are they? I don't know. Let me know down below what you think of the faux freckles. But anyway, I'm gonna stick on my lashes and show you how I do it. So I basically apply my duo lash glue onto my lash and I leave it sitting. Like this has been sitting for about five minutes now. Like no joke. It has been sitting for so long until it's like nearly dry and it's really really tacky. So they're like so whenever it's really tacky it just sticks down and it's easier to apply because it's not sliding about when the glue is like wet then i find these here are so helpful because you can get like a really good grip of the lash and it like fits up really close to your lash band and you can just get a really good hold of it so, so you want to stick it as close to your natural lashes as you can and then i always just stick it down in the middle first and like that's it stuck down really like secure because the lash glue is nearly dry and then I take this bit oh sorry it's not in focus and I take this bit and I just stick it down right on the outer corner and then I bring this bit and stick it right into the inner corner And that's basically it that's not fully stuck but it's because the glue dried too much and it's not sticky there but I just stick it down in the middle stick it on the outer corner and stick it on the inner corner but I swear the secret is just leaving the glue on for as long as you can leave it for as long as you can leave it and then just sticking it in the center outer corner and inner corner that inner corner is really annoying me because it's not stuck down but if you want to just take like a wee brush like this here and a wee bit of the glue on it that glue's dry and a wee bit of the glue on it and then place it on the lash band and then just stick it down but the duo glue i personally find is the best glue and um, the glue that you get with your lashes it's not worth like no just I always just throw it out like I never even open them at all or like I've never used them I've always just stuck with my duo glue because it's the best and it's the strongest like if your lashes are stuck down good with that duo glue they're not going to move all day all night whatever so I would really recommend it and you can get it in Primark you can get it in Inglot I think you can get it in Superdrug so yeah and um, that's the finished look I'll post like a few photos of it on my Instagram if you just want to go over and check it out. It's just ac.makeup.x and I'll leave it on the screen so you can go over and follow me on there to see more looks. Um, I do more like mad creative ones over there that take me about 5 hours. That's why I don't do them in YouTube videos because I just wouldn't be able to fit them in to like a 25 minute video or whatever. But yes, I hope you all enjoyed this way tutorial. If you did and you just want to see more tutorials of like certain looks, just let me know down below and I'll definitely get around to doing them because I want to start doing like more tutorials, maybe like one or two a month and then like the other two videos or whatever, just like challenges or chatty videos. Um, so yeah. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any uploads and also like this video. Bye.